The Art of Mental Fortitude, Thriving in the Face of Adversity. Written by Ronnie Rowland. Published by Growth Literacy Lounge. Introduction. In the crucible of life's toughest challenges, it's not the physical strength but the unyielded power of the mind that defines our success. The Art of Mental Fortitude Thriving in the Face of Adversity is your guide to transforming the unexpected storms into undercurrents that propel you forward. Imagine standing unflinchingly as the gales of life attempt to bend your resolve. Where many see insurmountable barriers, you see a path marked by growth and triumph. This isn't just an ideal, it's a trainable reality. Mental toughness is the bedrock upon which great achievements are built not through sheer force, but through a steadfast commitment to turning every challenge into a stepping stone towards your ultimate success. Within these pages lies not just theories but actionable strategies honed from the real experiences of those who thrive under pressure. Whether you are a leader driving teams through turbulent times, a dreamer guarding your ambitions against the cynics, or anyone who faces daily battles of stress and doubt, this book will equip you with the tools to fortify your mental resilience. Prepare to delve into the depths of your inner strength, harness your emotions, and redraw the boundaries of your potential. Learn how to navigate life's complexities with a calm focus and a resilient heart. Here you will discover how to not just survive but thrive as you transform adversity into an opportunity for profound growth. Now let us embark on this transformative journey together, starting with the fundamental cornerstone of mental toughness self-awareness. As you turn the page you'll begin to unlock the secrets that will elevate your understanding and mastery of your mind, setting the stage for all the strategies that follow. Join the community of seekers and learners by subscribing to the channel. Every subscription is a token of encouragement that fuels our ability to bring you more captivating and thought-provoking content. Comment and like. Become part of the movement shaping the future of learning and growth. Let's begin. Chapter 1. The Foundations of Mental Fortitude. Life rarely unfolds as planned. The unexpected twists and turns can either break us or forge us into versions of ourselves we scarcely recognize before stronger, wiser, unbreakable. This journey begins with understanding the bedrock of all success mental fortitude. Mental toughness isn't merely about enduring, it's about evolving. It's the grit that helps marathon runners push through the last exhausting mile, the calm poise of surgeons in the operating room, and the unwavering focus of artists as they breathe life into their visions. But more fundamentally, it's about how you, regardless of your profession or life path, can harness this power to overcome the hurdles you face every day. The Essence of Mental Toughness At its core, mental toughness involves a unique blend of resilience, confidence, control, and grit. It empowers you to persist, even when every fiber of your being screams to give up. Focus, in the face of overwhelming distractions or pressure. Manage stress. Transforming potential breakdowns into breakthroughs. Regulate emotions to remain calm and deliberate under stress. Understanding these elements is the first step in cultivating a robust mindset that not only survives but thrives under pressure. Why mental toughness matters. In a world that's increasingly volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous, mental toughness is no longer just an advantage, it's a necessity. It's what separates those who falter from those who flourish when facing the inevitable challenges of life. Whether it's achieving personal goals, excelling in your career, or navigating personal relationships, mental toughness provides the foundation for tackling these with confidence and poise. Cultivating a Tough Mind Developing mental toughness is akin to building muscle. It requires consistent effort and the right exercises. It begins with self-awareness, recognizing your emotional triggers, and understanding your habitual responses to stress and adversity. This awareness is your first tool in the Mental Toughness Toolkit one that we will explore deeply in the next chapter. Now that we've laid the groundwork for understanding the crucial elements of mental toughness, how do we start this transformative process? It begins with self-awareness, a critical skill that allows you to see your mind in action and adjust your thoughts and behaviors in real time. In the next chapter, we will delve into self-awareness, your secret weapon, exploring techniques to enhance your perception of your emotions, thoughts, and behaviors, setting the stage for the development of true mental toughness. By mastering self-awareness, you equip yourself to face any challenge not just with hope, but with a plan. Chapter 2. Self-Awareness. Your Secret Weapon. 
Understanding oneself is the cornerstone of all personal growth and success. As we delve into the realms of mental toughness, self-awareness emerges not just as a skill, but as a transformative power that unlocks our true potential in handling life's adversities. The Role of Self-Awareness in Mental Toughness Self-awareness is the conscious knowledge of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. In the context of mental toughness, it allows you to recognize your emotional triggers. Knowing what sets you off makes it possible to strategize effectively against reactive behaviors. Understand your strengths and weaknesses. This knowledge directs your efforts to where they are most needed and most effective. Monitor your internal dialogue. The conversations you have with yourself can build you up or tear you down. Awareness allows you to cultivate a supportive and positive internal narrative. By enhancing your self-awareness, you set the stage for better control over your actions and emotions, a crucial aspect of mental toughness. Techniques to Enhance Self-Awareness Improving self-awareness is a practical endeavor that involves several targeted activities. Mindfulness Meditation Regular practice helps you become an observer of your thoughts and feelings without judgment, providing clarity and calmness. Journaling Writing down your thoughts and experiences can help you detect patterns and behaviors that are otherwise hard to recognize. Feedback from others. Sometimes, seeing ourselves from another's perspective can highlight blind spots in our self-perception. Each of these techniques offers a pathway to deeper self-understanding and, by extension, greater mental resilience. Buying self-awareness. Consider the story of Emma, a project manager who often found herself overwhelmed by stress and unable to meet deadlines. Through mindfulness and journaling, Emma realized that her procrastination stemmed not from laziness but from a fear of criticism. This insight allowed her to seek specific feedback and adjust her approach to work, significantly improving her performance and reducing her stress levels. Self-awareness transformed Emma's professional life by equipping her with the knowledge to tackle her weaknesses head-on, a clear example of mental toughness in action. Now that we understand the immense value of self-awareness and some techniques to enhance it, how do we use this skill to manage our emotions more effectively? Emotional control is not about suppressing your feelings but understanding and channeling them in productive ways. In the next chapter, Mastering Emotional Control, we will explore how to apply our self-awareness to regulate and leverage our emotions to maintain focus and composure under pressure. This journey into emotional mastery is crucial for anyone looking to build true mental resilience and transform adversity into opportunity. Chapter 3. Mastering Emotional Control Emotional control is not about stifling your feelings, it's about understanding them well enough to channel them appropriately. This chapter explores how enhanced self-awareness, cultivated in the previous chapter, serves as a foundation for regulating and harnessing your emotions to enhance your mental toughness. Understanding Emotional Control Emotional control involves the ability to manage and direct your emotional responses in a way that is appropriate to your circumstances. It is crucial for mental toughness because emotions can either propel you forward or pull you back. By mastering emotional control, you ensure that your feelings serve you rather than sabotage you. The Benefits of Emotional Control Effective emotional control allows you to Stay calm under pressure Keeping a level head in stressful situations helps you make rational decisions. Maintain persistence. By managing discouragement and frustration, you can continue working towards your goals despite setbacks. Enhance relationships. Controlling your emotional responses can improve how you interact with others, which is vital in both personal and professional settings. Techniques for developing emotional control. To develop better emotional control, consider the following strategies. Breathing exercises. Simple techniques such as deep breathing can help calm your mind and reduce the intensity of immediate emotional reactions. Cognitive reframing. This involves changing your perspective on a situation to alter its emotional impact. For instance, viewing a challenging task as an opportunity to learn rather than a potential failure. Delayed response. When emotions run high, postponing your reaction can give you time to assess the situation more objectively. Consider John, a veteran sales manager, often found himself reacting angrily during negotiations, which undermined his effectiveness. Through practicing mindfulness and employing cognitive reframing, he learned to interpret tense negotiations as a challenge rather than a threat. This shift not only improved his composure but also his success rate in closing deals, as he could now engage more constructively. 
Having established a foundation of self-awareness and built upon it with emotional control, the next step is integrating these skills into the practical aspect of goal setting. Emotional control is not only about managing reactions but also about empowering oneself to set and achieve ambitious goals. In the next chapter, Goal Setting Vision and Precision we delve into how to set realistic, achievable goals that are aligned with your values and aspirations. You will learn how to use your emotional intelligence to craft a vision for success that motivates and sustains your efforts, even when the going gets tough. Chapter 4. Goal Setting, Vision, and Precision. Effective goal setting is the bridge that connects your inner resilience with real-world achievements. It transforms the abstract power of mental fortitude into tangible outcomes. This chapter explores how to harness your newly developed skills in self-awareness and emotional control to set clear, actionable goals. The importance of goal setting and mental toughness. Setting goals is fundamental to mental toughness because it provides focus, direction, and a measurable standard for assessing progress. Goals are not just aspirations, they are the targets that guide your actions and decisions, keeping you aligned with your core values and vision even in the face of adversity. Principles of Effective Goal Setting Effective goals share common characteristics that make them powerful motivators and benchmarks for success. Specific, clearly defined goals provide a clear target to aim for. Measurable, quantifiable goals allow you to track progress and adjust as needed. Achievable, realistic goals ensure that you can attain them with effort and persistence. Relevant, goals should align with your larger life ambitions and values. Time-bound. Setting deadlines creates urgency and prompts action. Step-by-step -step goal setting. 1. Define your vision. Start by envisioning where you want to be in the future. What does success look like for you? Understanding your ultimate objective helps in setting meaningful goals. 2. Break it down. Decompose your vision into smaller, manageable objectives. Each should be a step that moves you closer to your larger ambition. 3. Plan actions. For each objective, define specific actions. This is where precision comes into play detail exactly what you need to do and when. 4. Commit publicly. Sharing your goals with others can add a layer of accountability and support. 5. Review and adjust. Regularly revisit your goals to reflect on your progress and make necessary adjustments. Harnessing goals for growth. Consider the case of Lisa, an entrepreneur who used strategic goal setting to expand her small business. Her vision was to grow her brand nationally. She set specific milestones, such as launching a new product each quarter and increasing her online presence by a set percentage each month. These goals were ambitious yet achievable, and importantly, they were aligned with her broader business strategy and personal values. With a clear understanding of how to set and pursue effective goals, the next step is to learn how to remain flexible and adaptable in your pursuit. The world is constantly changing, and so are the circumstances that impact our goals. In the next chapter, Adaptability. Thriving in change, we will explore how to cultivate adaptability, allowing you to modify your goals and strategies in response to changing conditions without losing sight of your ultimate objectives. This skill is vital for anyone looking to maintain mental toughness in an ever-evolving world. Chapter 5. Adaptability. Thriving in change. In an ever-changing world, adaptability is the linchpin of mental toughness. It's not enough to set goals and stick rigidly to them. True resilience lies in the ability to pivot and adjust while maintaining your core focus. This chapter explores how adaptability allows you to thrive amid uncertainty and change. Understanding Adaptability Adaptability is the ability to adjust your thoughts, behaviors, and goals in response to new information, unexpected challenges, and shifting environments. It's about staying flexible without losing sight of your objectives, and it's a critical component of mental toughness because life is rarely predictable. The Benefits of Being Adaptable Being adaptable provides numerous advantages. Enhance problem-solving. Flexibility allows you to approach problems from different angles and find creative solutions. Reduce stress. Accepting change as a constant reduces anxiety and helps maintain a calm, focused mindset. Increased resilience. Adaptable individuals bounce back more quickly from setbacks because they are willing to change their approach as needed. Better opportunities. Being open to new experiences and perspectives often leads to unexpected and beneficial opportunities. Strategies for cultivating adaptability. 
1. Embrace a growth mindset. Believe that your abilities and intelligence can develop through dedication and hard work. This mindset fosters a love for learning and resilience essential for adaptability. 2. Stay informed. Keeping up with trends and changes in your field or environment helps you anticipate and prepare for shifts. 3. Be open to feedback. Constructive criticism provides valuable insights that can guide your adjustments and improvements. 4. Practice flexibility. Regularly challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone and try new approaches to familiar tasks. 5. Plan for contingencies. Develop backup plans to ensure you can pivot smoothly when things don't go as expected. Consider Michael, a mid-level manager at a tech company, faced a significant challenge when his company underwent a major reorganization. Rather than resist the changes, Michael used his adaptability to his advantage. He actively sought feedback, stayed informed about new developments, and adjusted his management style to fit the new company culture. His flexibility not only helped him retain his position but also led to a promotion, as he was seen as a vital asset in the transition. Having explored the importance of adaptability and learned strategies to cultivate it, the next logical step is to build resilience through direct experiences with adversity. Adaptability prepares you to face change, but resilience ensures you can endure and grow from the inevitable hardships. Win the next chapter, Building Resilience. We will delve into real-life examples and practical tips for developing resilience by confronting and overcoming life's toughest challenges. This exploration will provide deeper insights into how to transform setbacks into powerful growth opportunities. Chapter 6. Building Resilience the Hard Way. Resilience is forged in the fires of adversity. While it's easy to wish for a life free of hardship, true mental toughness emerges when we face challenges head-on and come out stronger on the other side. This chapter delves into the essence of resilience and offers practical advice on how to build it through real-life experiences. The Nature of Resilience Resilience is the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties and adapt well to adversity. It's not about avoiding challenges but about embracing them as opportunities for growth. Resilient individuals possess a mindset that sees setbacks as temporary and solvable, maintaining an optimistic outlook even in tough times. The components of resilience. Building resilience involves several key components. Optimism. Maintaining a hopeful outlook and believing in your ability to influence outcomes. Purpose. Having a clear sense of purpose or goals that drive your actions. Flexibility. Being able to adapt to new situations and changing demands. Support systems. Relying on a network of supportive relationships. Self-care. Prioritizing your physical and mental well-being to sustain long-term resilience. Practical strategies for building resilience. 1. Embrace failure as a learning opportunity. Each failure provides valuable lessons. Analyze what went wrong, learn from it, and apply those lessons moving forward. 2. Set realistic expectations. Understand that setbacks are a natural part of any journey. Set achievable goals and break them down into manageable steps. 3. Develop problem-solving skills. Approach challenges with a solution-oriented mindset. Break problems down into smaller parts and tackle them one at a time. 4. Strengthen your support network. Build and maintain relationships with people who offer emotional and practical support. 5. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding when things don't go as planned. Avoid self-criticism and focus on growth. Consider Sarah's path to resilience. Sarah, a single mother and aspiring entrepreneur, faced numerous obstacles while trying to launch her own business. Financial difficulties, balancing parenting with work, and initial business failures were just a few of the hurdles she encountered. However, Sarah's resilience kept her going. She embraced each setback as a learning opportunity, sought advice from mentors, and maintained an unwavering belief in her vision. Over time, her business not only survived but thrived, becoming a testament to her resilience and determination. Now that we've explored the essence of resilience and practical ways to build it, the next step is to learn how to turn adversity into an advantage. Building resilience is about more than just enduring hardships, it's about using those experiences to fuel personal growth and achieve greater success. In the next chapter, From Adversity to Advantage, we will uncover techniques to leverage your toughest experiences as catalysts for positive change. This chapter will provide insights into transforming setbacks into stepping stones, empowering you to not just survive but thrive. Chapter 7 
from adversity to advantage. Adversity can either be a stumbling block or a stepping stone. The difference lies in how you perceive and respond to it. In this chapter, we explore techniques to transform challenges into opportunities for growth, turning every setback into a setup for success. The Power of Perspective The first step in transforming adversity into an advantage is changing your perspective. Viewing challenges as opportunities rather than threats can radically alter your approach to them. This mindset shift is essential for leveraging adversity to your benefit. Techniques for turning adversity into advantage. 1. Reframe the situation. Instead of seeing a failure as a negative, reframe it as a learning experience. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Or how can this make me stronger? 2. Identify hidden opportunities. Often, challenges present new opportunities that weren't visible before. By remaining open-minded, you can uncover these hidden advantages. 3. Build on your strengths. Use adversity as a chance to reinforce and build upon your existing strengths. Difficult situations can highlight areas where you excel. 4. Develop new skills. Adversity often requires you to stretch beyond your current capabilities. Take advantage of this by developing new skills that will serve you in the future. 5. Leverage your network. Difficult times are an excellent opportunity to reach out to your support network. Seek advice, share experiences, and collaborate with others to overcome obstacles. Consider Alex, a young software engineer, faced a major setback when the startup he worked for suddenly shut down. Instead of succumbing to despair, Alex saw this as an opportunity to start his own tech consulting firm. He used the skills and industry knowledge he had gained and reached out to former colleagues and mentors for support. Through hard work and perseverance, Alex's business began to flourish, transforming his initial setback into a thriving enterprise. Applying the lessons. Let's break down the process of transforming adversity into advantage. 1. Analyze. Assess the situation objectively. What went wrong and why? What external and internal factors contributed to the adversity? 2. Adapt. Adjust your plans based on the insights gained from your analysis. Be flexible and willing to change your approach. 3. Act. Take decisive action based on your new plan. Focus on small, achievable steps that move you forward. 4. Reflect. After taking action, reflect on the outcomes, what worked and what didn't. Use this reflection to continuously improve. Having learned how to turn adversity into advantage, the next crucial element of mental toughness is consistency. It's one thing to overcome a single challenge, but maintaining resilience and determination over time requires daily disciplines and habits that fortify your mental strength. In the next chapter, consistency is key. Daily disciplines, we will delve into the routines and habits that build and sustain mental toughness. Discover how consistent, small actions lead to significant, long-term success and resilience. Chapter 8 Consistency is key. Daily disciplines. Achieving mental toughness isn't about making occasional grand gestures but about the small, consistent actions you take every day. In this chapter we will explore the power of daily disciplines and how they build and sustain resilience over time. The importance of consistency. Consistency creates habits, and habits shape your character and ultimately your destiny. By committing to regular, disciplined practices, you reinforce the mental and emotional skills necessary for resilience. These small, daily actions accumulate, leading to significant long-term results. Key Daily Disciplines for Building Mental Toughness 1. Morning Routine Start your day with intention. Whether it's meditation, exercise, or a moment of reflection, a consistent morning routine sets a positive tone for the day. 2. Goal Review Daily review of your goals keeps you focused and aligned with your long-term objectives. It's a reminder of what you're working towards and why. 3. Gratitude Practice Taking time each day to reflect on what you're grateful for can shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance, fostering a more resilient outlook. 4. Mindfulness and Meditation Regular mindfulness practice helps you stay present and manage stress effectively. It enhances self-awareness and emotional control. Five. Exercise. Physical activity is crucial for mental well-being. Regular exercise reduces stress, improves mood and boosts overall health, all of which contribute to mental toughness. 6. Journaling. Writing about your experiences, thoughts, and emotions helps process challenges and track progress. It's a tool for self-reflection and growth. 7. 
Sleep hygiene. Prioritize good sleep habits. Quality sleep is foundational for cognitive function, emotional regulation, and overall resilience. Consider Tom, a financial analyst, struggled with high stress and burnout. After learning about the importance of daily disciplines, he decided to implement a structured routine. He began his days with a 10-minute meditation, followed by a review of his daily goals. He incorporated regular exercise and ended each day by journaling about his achievements and areas for improvement. Over time, these small habits had a profound impact on Tom's mental toughness, enabling him to handle work pressures more effectively and maintain a positive outlook. Developing your daily disciplines To establish your own daily disciplines 1. Start small Choose one or two habits to begin with. It's better to start small and build consistency than to overwhelm yourself with too many changes at once. 2. Be consistent. Commit to practicing these disciplines every day. Consistency is more important than perfection. 3. Track your progress. Use a journal or app to track your daily practices and reflect on their impact. 4. Adjust as needed. Be flexible and willing to adjust your routines as you learn what works best for you. Consistency in daily disciplines lays a solid foundation for mental toughness, but to sustain this over the long haul, you need to strategically incorporate rest and recovery into your routine. Just as muscles grow stronger during rest periods after exercise, your mind also requires breaks to maintain peak performance. In the next chapter, The Power of Pause. Using breaks strategically, we will explore how to use rest and recovery effectively to boost your resilience and sustain your mental toughness over time. Learn how to balance effort and recovery to achieve lasting success and well-being. Chapter 9 The Power of Pause Using Breaks Strategically Rest and recovery are just as crucial to mental toughness as consistent effort. In this chapter we delve into the importance of strategic pauses and how they can enhance your resilience, productivity, and overall well-being. The Necessity of Breaks While striving for goals and maintaining daily discipline is essential, Continuous effort without breaks can lead to burnout, decreased productivity, and diminished mental toughness. Breaks are not a sign of weakness but a vital part of the resilience-building process. They provide an opportunity for your mind and body to recover, recharge, and prepare for further challenges. Types of Strategic Breaks 1. Micro-breaks Short breaks taken throughout the day 5 to 10 minutes can significantly boost focus and productivity. These can include stretching, walking, or brief mindfulness exercises. 2. Lunchtime breaks. Taking a full break during lunch to step away from work and engage in a different activity, such as reading, walking, or socializing, helps reset your mental state. 3. Weekend breaks. Use weekends to disconnect from work and engage in leisure activities or hobbies. This longer break is crucial for maintaining a healthy work-life balance. 4. Vacations. Periodic extended breaks, such as vacations, are essential for deep rest and rejuvenation. They allow you to step back, gain perspective, and return with renewed energy and creativity. 5. Mental Health Days Occasionally, taking a day off specifically to focus on mental well-being can prevent burnout and promote long-term resilience. Techniques for Effective Pausing 1. Pomodoro Technique Work for 25 minutes, then take a 5-minute break. After four cycles, take a longer break 15 to 30 minutes. This technique helps maintain focus and prevents fatigue. 2. Mindfulness Meditation Regular short sessions of mindfulness or meditation can reduce stress and improve emotional regulation. Even a few minutes of deep breathing can have a significant impact. 3. Physical Activity Incorporate light exercise during breaks. Activities like stretching, yoga, or a quick walk can refresh your mind and body. 4. Nature breaks. Spending time outdoors or simply looking at natural scenery can reduce stress and improve mood and cognitive function. Consider Rachel, a high-powered attorney, was on the verge of burnout. She decided to integrate strategic breaks into her hectic schedule. By using the Pomodoro technique, taking lunchtime walks, and scheduling regular vacations, Rachel found her stress levels significantly reduced. Her productivity and creativity improved and she was able to approach her demanding job with renewed vigor and mental toughness. Implementing Strategic Breaks To incorporate breaks effectively, 1. Plan your breaks. Schedule breaks into your daily routine, just as you would any important task. 2. 
prioritize self-care. Understand that taking breaks is a crucial part of maintaining your mental toughness and overall performance. 3. Listen to your body. Pay attention to signs of fatigue or stress, and take breaks when needed to prevent burnout. 4. Stay consistent. Make taking breaks a regular part of your routine, not just something you do when you're already exhausted. Strategic breaks enhance your ability to maintain consistent effort and resilience over the long term. However, mental toughness is not just built on individual practices, it is also significantly bolstered by the strength of your relationships and support systems. In the next chapter, Support Systems The Strength of Others, we will explore how to build and leverage a robust network of relationships to enhance your mental toughness. Discover the power of community and how connecting with others can provide invaluable support and encouragement in your journey. Chapter 10 Support Systems The Strength of Others While mental toughness is often viewed as an individual pursuit, the reality is that our relationships and support systems play a critical role in our resilience and overall well-being. In this chapter we explore how to build and leverage a robust network of support to enhance your mental toughness. The Importance of Support Systems no one is an island. Even the strongest individuals benefit from the support, encouragement, and insights of others. A solid support system provides emotional support. Friends and family can offer comfort, understanding, and reassurance during difficult times. Practical assistance. A network of people can provide tangible help, whether it's advice, resources, or hands-on assistance, motivation, and accountability. Supportive relationships can motivate you to stay committed to your goals and hold you accountable for your actions. Perspective. Others can offer different viewpoints, helping you see challenges and opportunities from new angles. Building your support network. To create a strong support system, focus on these key areas. 1. Identify key relationships. Identify the people in your life who consistently offer support, whether they are family members, friends, colleagues, or mentors. Two. Nurture connections. Invest time and energy in nurturing these relationships. Regular communication and genuine interest in their lives will strengthen these bonds. 3. Seek out like minded individuals. Join groups, clubs, or communities that share your interests and goals. Surrounding yourself with like minded individuals fosters a sense of belonging and mutual support. 4. Be willing to give. A support system is reciprocal. Offer your support to others and you'll find that people are more likely to support you in return. 5. Leverage professional help. Don't hesitate to seek professional support when needed. Therapists, coaches, and counselors can provide valuable insights and strategies. Consider Kevin, a marketing executive who faced a major career setback when his company underwent massive layoffs. Instead of isolating himself, Kevin reached out to his network. He connected with former colleagues, attended industry meetups, and joined online professional groups. His support network provided emotional support, practical job leads, and new perspectives on his career options. With their help, Kevin not only found a new job but also discovered a renewed sense of purpose and resilience. Strengthening your support system. To enhance your support system. 1. Regularly reach out. Make it a habit to check in with your support network regularly, not just when you need help. 2. Be honest and open. Share your challenges and successes openly. Authentic communication fosters deeper connections. 3. Show appreciation. Express gratitude for the support you receive. Acknowledging others' contributions strengthens your relationships. 4. Engage in mutual activities. Participate in activities that build connections, such as group projects, social events, or collaborative efforts. With a strong support system in place, you are better equipped to face life's challenges. However, even with the best preparation and support, mental traps and cognitive biases can still undermine your resilience. In the next chapter, Mental Traps. Avoiding common pitfalls, we will identify and explore common psychological barriers that can weaken mental toughness. Learn how to recognize and overcome these traps to maintain a resilient and focused mindset. Chapter 11. Mental Traps. Avoiding Common Pitfalls. Even with strong self-awareness, emotional control, goal-setting, adaptability, consistency, and support systems, our minds can still fall prey to cognitive biases and mental traps that undermine our resilience. In this chapter, we will identify common mental pitfalls and explore strategies to overcome them, 
ensuring that you maintain a focused and resilient mindset. Understanding mental traps. Mental traps are habitual patterns of thinking that can lead to negative outcomes. They often arise from cognitive biases, systematic ways of thinking that deviate from rationality or logical reasoning. Recognizing these traps is the first step towards overcoming them. Common mental traps. 1. Catastrophizing. This involves expecting the worst-case scenario to happen, which can lead to excessive anxiety and stress. It magnifies problems and hinders effective problem-solving. 2. All-or-nothing thinking. Seeing situations in black-and-white terms without recognizing the gray areas. This can lead to a lack of flexibility and resilience, as you may see minor setbacks as complete failures. 3. Overgeneralization. Drawing broad conclusions from a single event or experience, which can lead to negative self-perception and defeatist attitudes. 4. Mind reading. Assuming you know what others are thinking without having concrete evidence. This can lead to misunderstandings and strained relationships. 5. Emotional reasoning. Believing that because you feel a certain way, it must be true. For example, feeling incompetent might lead you to believe you are incompetent, despite evidence to the contrary. 6. Labeling. Assigning a fixed, negative label to yourself or others based on one event can hinder growth and positive interactions. 7. Confirmation bias. Seeking out information that confirms your pre-existing beliefs while ignoring evidence that contradicts them. This can prevent you from seeing the full picture and making balanced decisions. Strategies for overcoming mental traps. 1. Awareness and reflection. Regularly reflect on your thoughts and identify patterns. Journaling can be a helpful tool for this. 2. Challenge your thoughts. Actively question the validity of your thoughts. Ask yourself, is this thought based on facts or assumptions? 3. Reframe negative thoughts. Turn negative thoughts into positive or neutral ones. For example, replace I always fail with sometimes things don't go as planned, but I learn and grow from each experience. 4. Seek evidence. Look for evidence that supports or contradicts your thoughts. This helps ground your thinking in reality. 5. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness techniques can help you stay present and avoid getting caught up in negative thought patterns. 6. Talk it out. Discussing your thoughts with a trusted friend, mentor, or therapist can provide new perspectives and reduce the power of negative thoughts. Consider Maria, a high school teacher who often fell into the trap of catastrophizing. If a lesson didn't go as planned, she would think, I'm a terrible teacher, and my students are going to fail. Through journaling and reflection, Maria began to recognize this pattern. She started challenging her thoughts by asking herself for evidence of her competence as a teacher. Over time, Maria reframed her thoughts, acknowledging that one bad lesson didn't define her abilities. This shift helped her maintain confidence and resilience in her teaching career. By identifying and overcoming mental traps, you fortify your mental toughness ensuring that your mind works for you, not against you. However, building mental toughness is a lifelong journey that requires continuous learning and growth. In the next chapter, Lifelong Learning. Growing through life, we will explore how embracing a mindset of continuous improvement and learning enhances your resilience and adaptability. Discover how to turn every experience into an opportunity for growth and maintain your mental toughness over the long haul. Chapter 12. Lifelong learning growing through life. Resilience and mental toughness aren't destinations but ongoing processes. Embracing lifelong learning is essential for continuous growth and adaptability. In this chapter we will explore how a commitment to lifelong learning enhances your mental toughness, helping you to stay resilient and adaptable in the face of life's challenges. The concept of lifelong learning. Lifelong learning is the continuous pursuit of knowledge and skills throughout one's life. It goes beyond formal education to include personal development, professional growth, and the acquisition of new hobbies and interests. This commitment to ongoing learning keeps your mind sharp, your skills relevant, and your perspective fresh. Benefits of Lifelong Learning for Mental Toughness 1. Enhanced Adaptability Continuously learning new skills and information allows you to adapt to changes more effectively. 2. Increased Confidence Acquiring new knowledge and skills boosts self-confidence, which is crucial for facing challenges with a positive mindset. 3. Resilience to setbacks. 
a mindset of continuous improvement helps you view setbacks as opportunities to learn and grow rather than as failures. 4. Broader Perspective Exposure to new ideas and experiences broadens your understanding and helps you approach problems from different angles. 5. Sustained Motivation The pursuit of new goals and challenges keeps you motivated and engaged, preventing stagnation. Strategies for Embracing Lifelong Learning 1. Set Learning Goals Identify areas where you want to grow and set specific, achievable learning goals. 2. Read regularly. Books, articles, and research papers provide a wealth of knowledge. Make reading a regular habit. 3. Take courses. Enroll in courses related to your interests or career. Online platforms offer a wide range of options for continuous learning. 4. Seek feedback. Regularly ask for feedback from mentors, peers, and supervisors to identify areas for improvement and growth. 5. Reflect on experiences. Take time to reflect on your experiences and what you've learned from them. Journaling can be a useful tool for this. 6. Engage in new hobbies. Trying new activities and hobbies can stimulate your mind and introduce you to new communities and perspectives. 7. Network and collaborate. Engage with others who share your interests. Networking and collaboration can provide new insights and learning opportunities. Consider Lisa, a middle-aged professional found herself feeling stagnant in her career. She decided to embrace lifelong learning by setting a goal to learn a new skill every quarter. She started with learning a new language, then moved on to mastering a software program relevant to her job. She also took online courses in leadership and management. Over time, Lisa's confidence and adaptability improved significantly. She became more engaged at work and even received a promotion, attributing her success to her commitment to continuous learning implementing lifelong learning. To make lifelong learning a part of your daily life. 1. Schedule learning time. Dedicate specific times in your schedule for learning activities, whether it's reading, taking courses, or practicing a new skill. 2. Stay curious. Cultivate a curious mindset by always asking questions and seeking to understand more about the world around you. 3. Join learning communities. Engage with groups or clubs that focus on continuous learning and personal development. Embracing lifelong learning enhances your resilience and adaptability, keeping you prepared for whatever life throws your way. However, it's equally important to apply these principles practically in your daily life to see tangible benefits. In the next chapter, Practical Applications, Mental Toughness in Action, we will provide case studies where the principles of mental toughness have been effectively applied. Learn how to integrate these lessons into your own life to achieve greater success and fulfillment. Chapter 13. Practical Applications. Mental Toughness in Action. Understanding the principles of mental toughness is one thing. Applying them in real-life situations is where true transformation occurs. This chapter explores how individuals have effectively implemented these strategies to overcome challenges and achieve their goals. By examining these practical applications, you can see how to integrate mental toughness into your life. 1. Consider John, a mid-level manager at a technology firm who faced a major career setback when his company went through a restructuring process and was laid off. Application of Mental Toughness John used self-awareness to recognize his initial feelings of failure and rejection. He employed emotional control techniques to manage his anxiety and focused on goal-setting to navigate his job search. John stayed adaptable, continuously updating his resume and learning new skills relevant to his industry. Within six months, John secured a higher-paying position at a new company, crediting his resilience and mental toughness for helping him stay focused and motivated during the transition. 2. Consider Sarah, a competitive swimmer who struggled with performance anxiety and inconsistent results in her race's application of mental toughness. Sara started with mindfulness and meditation practices to enhance her self-awareness and emotional control. She set specific, measurable goals for her training and competitions and maintained consistency in her daily disciplines. Sara also leveraged the support of her coach and teammates. Outcome. Over the next year, Sara's performance improved dramatically. She set personal records and even qualified for a national championship, attributing her success to her mental toughness training. 3. Consider Tom, a small business owner who faced significant stress and burnout due to the demands of running his business. Tom incorporated strategic breaks into his routine, practiced gratitude, and sought support from a business mentor. 
he also embraced lifelong learning by attending workshops on time management and business strategy. Tom managed to reduce his stress levels, improve his work-life balance, and grow his business. His ability to stay resilient and adaptable was key to his personal and professional transformation. Integrating mental toughness into daily life. 1. Start small. Begin by integrating one or two mental toughness strategies into your daily routine. Focus on consistency and gradual improvement. 2. Reflect regularly. Take time each week to reflect on your progress. Assess what's working and what needs adjustment. 3. Seek feedback. Engage with your support system to get feedback and advice. Use their insights to refine your approach. 4. Stay flexible. Be willing to adapt your strategies as needed. Mental toughness is about staying resilient, not rigid. 5. Celebrate wins. Acknowledge your progress and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small. This reinforces positive behavior and keeps you motivated. By seeing how others have successfully applied the principles of mental toughness, you can gain confidence in your ability to do the same. Practical application. Turn theory into reality, helping you to navigate your challenges with resilience and determination. In the next chapter, Designing Your Mental Toughness Blueprint, we will guide you through creating a personalized plan to develop and strengthen your mental toughness. This blueprint will help you integrate all the strategies you've learned into a cohesive, actionable plan tailored to your unique goals and challenges. Chapter 14. Designing Your Mental Toughness Blueprint Having explored the principles and practical applications of mental toughness, it's time to create a personalized plan that integrates these strategies into your daily life. This chapter will guide you through designing your own mental toughness blueprint, a tailored action plan that will help you build and maintain resilience, focus, and determination. The components of your mental toughness blueprint. Your blueprint should include specific, actionable steps across several key areas. 1. Self-awareness. Goal. Increase self-awareness to better understand your strengths, weaknesses, and triggers. Action steps. Start a daily journaling practice to reflect on your thoughts and emotions. Incorporate mindfulness meditation into your routine. Seek feedback from trusted friends, family, or colleagues to gain external perspectives. 2. Emotional control. Enhance emotional regulation to stay calm and focused under pressure. Action steps. Practice deep breathing exercises during stressful moments. Use cognitive reframing to change negative thought patterns. Engage in regular physical activity to manage stress and improve mood. 3. Goal setting. Set and pursue meaningful, achievable goals. Action steps. Define short-term and long-term goals using the SMART criteria specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound. Break down goals into smaller, manageable tasks. Review and adjust your goals regularly to stay on track. 4. Adaptability. Cultivate flexibility and resilience to navigate change effectively. Action steps. Embrace a growth mindset by viewing challenges as opportunities to learn. Stay informed about trends and changes in your field or environment. Develop contingency plans to prepare for unexpected events. 5. Consistency. Establish and maintain productive habits and routines. Action steps. Create a daily schedule that includes time for important tasks and self-care. Use habit tracking tools to monitor your progress. Focus on building one new habit at a time to ensure sustainability. 6. Support systems. Goal. Build and leverage a strong support network. Action steps. Identify key individuals who provide support and encouragement. Invest time in nurturing these relationships through regular communication and shared activities. Join groups or communities that align with your interests and goals. 7. Rest and recovery. Incorporate strategic breaks to enhance performance and well-being. Action steps. Schedule regular breaks throughout your day using techniques like Pomodoro. Plan for longer periods of rest such as weekends and vacations. Practice mindfulness or relaxation exercises to recharge. Creating your blueprint. 1. Assess your starting point. Reflect on your current strengths and areas for improvement in each key area. Use the assessments and reflections from previous chapters to guide this process. 2. Set clear objectives. Define specific objectives for each component of your blueprint. What do you want to achieve, and by when? 3. Develop action plans. For each objective, outline the specific actions you will take to achieve it. 
Include timelines and milestones to track your progress. 4. Implement and monitor. Start implementing your action plans and monitor your progress regularly. Use journaling, habit tracking tools, or regular check-ins with your support network to stay accountable. 5. Review and adjust. Periodically review your blueprint and make adjustments as needed. Flexibility is key to maintaining resilience and adapting to new challenges. Consider Emily, a marketing professional, created her mental toughness blueprint with the following components. Self-awareness. Emily started journaling every morning and meditating for eight minutes each evening. She also asked her mentor for regular feedback on her work. Emotional control. She practiced deep breathing exercises before important presentations and used positive affirmations to boost her confidence. Goal setting. Emily set a long-term goal to become a marketing director within five years, with short-term goals for skill development and networking. Adaptability. She embraced online learning to stay updated on industry trends and developed a backup plan for potential job changes. Consistency. Emily established a daily routine that included exercise, focused work periods, and time for relaxation. She joined a professional marketing association and scheduled monthly catch-ups with her support network. Rest and recovery. Emily implemented the Pomodoro technique for work breaks and planned quarterly vacations to recharge. With your mental toughness blueprint in hand, you are equipped to navigate life's challenges with resilience and determination. However, mental toughness is an ongoing journey that requires continuous reflection and growth. In the final chapter, Reflection and Road Ahead, we will revisit key concepts and outline strategies for maintaining and enhancing your mental toughness over time. This concluding chapter will ensure you have the tools and mindset to keep progressing on your journey towards mental resilience and success. Chapter 15. Reflection and Road Ahead As we reach the conclusion of our journey through the principles and practices of mental toughness, it's important to consolidate what we've learned and prepare for continuous growth. This final chapter will help you reflect on your progress, revisit key concepts, and outline strategies for maintaining and enhancing your mental resilience over time. Revisiting Key Concepts Let's briefly recap the essential elements of mental toughness that we've explored. 1. Self-awareness. Understanding your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors to better manage and direct them. 2. Emotional control. Maintaining composure and focus under pressure by regulating your emotional responses. 3. Goal setting. Defining and pursuing meaningful, achievable goals with clarity and purpose. 4. Adaptability. Remaining flexible and resilient in the face of change and uncertainty. 5. Consistency. Building and maintaining productive habits and routines through daily disciplines. 6. Support systems. Leveraging relationships and networks to provide emotional, practical, and motivational support. 7. Rest and recovery. Incorporating strategic breaks to enhance performance and well-being. Reflecting on your journey. Take some time to reflect on your journey towards mental toughness. 1. Assess your progress. Review the goals and action plans outlined in your mental toughness blueprint. What have you achieved? What areas still need improvement? 2. Celebrate wins. Acknowledge and celebrate your successes, no matter how small. Recognizing your achievements reinforces positive behavior and boosts motivation. 3. Identify challenges. Reflect on any obstacles or setbacks you've encountered. What did you learn from these experiences? How can you apply these lessons moving forward? Strategies for continuous growth. Maintaining and enhancing your mental toughness is an ongoing process. Here are some strategies to ensure continuous growth. 1. Regular Reflection Set aside time each week or month to reflect on your progress and adjust your plans as needed. Use journaling or discussions with your support network to facilitate this process. 2. Continuous Learning Stay committed to lifelong learning by regularly acquiring new knowledge and skills. This keeps your mind sharp and adaptable. 3. Seek feedback. Continuously seek feedback from trusted individuals to gain new perspectives and identify areas for improvement. 4. Stay connected. Maintain and nurture your support network. Engaging with others provides emotional support, new ideas, and accountability. 5. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. Understand that growth is a journey with ups and downs. Treat setbacks as learning opportunities rather than failures. 6. Revisit your blueprint. Periodically review and update your mental toughness blueprint to ensure it remains relevant 
and aligned with your evolving goals. Your journey towards mental toughness is unique, and it doesn't end here. By integrating the principles and strategies discussed in this book into your daily life, you are well equipped to face challenges, achieve your goals, and thrive in the face of adversity. Final thoughts Mental toughness is not about being invincible, it's about being resilient. It's about having the strength to face life's challenges with courage and determination, the adaptability to navigate change, and the wisdom to learn and grow from every experience. As you move forward, remember that every step you take, no matter how small, brings you closer to becoming the best version of yourself. Embrace the journey with an open heart and mind. Continue to push your limits, harness your inner strength, and turn every challenge into a stepping stone towards your ultimate success. Thank you for listening. Elevate your learning journey with our channel by subscribing today. Each video we create is designed to challenge, inspire, and enlighten. By subscribing, you ensure you're up to date with the latest content and support our quest to make learning accessible and engaging. Join the conversation below and let's learn and grow together. Let's explore the limits of what we can achieve together. Be well and thrive.